Hey guys, Sam here, and welcome back to another episode of our PSG Career Mode series. Today, we kick off things with a home game against Olympic Marseille. Last episode, I kind of left you guys on just one game, which was my bad, but <laughs> I do have time to record today, uh, so I am going to come back and play this Marseille Career Mode. I'm not sure when this is being uploaded in direct correlation to the other PSG Career Mode episode I just made, but for me, it's been like a few hours between the two episodes. So without further ado, let's take a look at the lineup that I'll be taking on Marseille at home. They sit in 13th position at the moment. A win here would put us in first, so it is a big game for us at home, and hopefully we'll be able to pick up all three points. That is the starting 11 going into this game. It is Lacazette up front with Di Maria and Neymar on each wing. Rabio, Matuidi and Verratti make up a midfield three with Kozawa, Silva, Marquinhos and Aurier as a back... Aurier? And Aurier as a back four and Areola in between the sticks. It's a strong lineup. Rabio gets his chance. We got Matuidi coming in again. Marquinhos gets a chance and hopefully this team is good enough to pick up three points at home in Marseille. They should be. They should be. Let's get that straight out of the way right there. They should be good enough to beat Marseille. But let's see if they can get the business done. And Lacazette, mate, I want to see you scoring some fucking goals. How about we kick off today? Let's let's score a goal today, Alexandra. Neymar on the wing now. Trying to get past Sakai. He does. Who's he got in the middle? He's going to whip that in. And it's got Rabi. Yo, in the middle. And Verratti on the second opportunity. And it's wide. You don't expect Verratti to know how to head of the ball. Too good. Angel into Serge. Serge. Back over to Angel. A fantastic ball. Angel's going to whip it in and Lacazette was lurking but good defending from Marseille. Rabiot plays the ball into Angel Di Maria. He's got Verratti already in there. Lacazette arriving late. Verratti's going to get to it and he puts it wide. Marco, I know you're a short man but my word, that was an easy header. Even for someone as short as him. Verratti into Lacazette. Oh, Lacazette. Lacazette in some space. He's gone for that and he's hit the bar. Alexandra Lacazette. Oh my god. Neymar. Into Lacazette. Lacazette turns around with some pace. He had Di Maria there. He didn't take the option. Instead, he's gone to Matuidi. And I was trying to pass that to Neymar, who was in a perfect position, but no. Oh yes, Lacazette, I love that pressure from Lacazette, takes a touch and he goes with his left and he's hit the bar as well! Again, the same, the same spot, like, yeah, Neymar just scored and I'm really happy about that. But Lacazette, mate, I think he deserves a fucking goal. One of these two should have gone, look at that for a shot though, imagine that went in. Oh my god, well done on Neymar, look at that's a finish. That's a fantastic finish from Neymar, near post volley like that on the second opportunity. That's some fantastic stuff from Neymar to make a 1-0. Take nothing away from his goal, but Lacazette, how many times is he going to hit the crossbar? Serge into Verratti. He finds Lacazette down to Rabio. Rabio patient with the ball and he finds Lacazette. That's a fantastic ball from Rabio, and it's found the back of the net. Lacazette's got his goal. Finally, I'm very happy about that. He's been playing so well this game. He's really just leading the attack. And Rabiot with a fantastic ball. Finally, Rabiot finds that dream ball. He's been so good in midfield, Rabiot. He's just been roaming around. And finally, something pays off for him. Keeper gets a little bit unlucky. Double deflection. But it finds the back of the net. And that's all that matters. It's an Alexandra Lacazette goal. Are you fucking serious? Are you for real? They're counting that as an own goal. Are you fucking for real, boys? How the fuck is that an own goal? There it is, full time here at the Parc de France, and it is a 2 0 win against Marseille, and their poor season continues. But what do you expect when you play PSG at their home ground? It's a solid win, it's a clean sheet. We've only conceded five goals in the league at the moment, so we're really killing it defensively. And it's another three points, and we're now in first position. Which is good, by one point over Nice and Lyon. Those are the stats for you guys. Marseille never really in it. Nine shots, four on target with 46% possession. To Marseille's one shot, none on target, 54% possession. Lacazette didn't get his goal, which I think is ridiculous. Like, if the whole point of, like, the own goal is when it is actually that player's fault that it went in. Like, the ball wasn't going to go in unless that player redirected it in the goal. But that was going in. That shot was definitely going in. And all it did was ricochet off the keeper. And they've given it an own goal. I think that's ridiculous. I don't know about you guys. Right, we have an away game here against Ginyamp in the Coupe de Ligue, which is one of the cups, one of the domestic cups. It's kind of a strong lineup. Lafont starts in goal. 
Uh, we got Munier, which a lot of you guys are telling me how to pronounce that, and I completely forgot, but I don't even know. Maybe you guys can let me know again. Is it not Munier or Munier? I don't know. You guys can let me know, but we got Marquinhos and Silva playing, Kazar was there, Krakowiak, Rabio, and Blin plays. And then Lucas Lacazette and Jesse Rodriguez as a front three. But it's a nil-nil going into the last 15 minutes of the game. And maybe this is going to go into extra time. Yes, it does go to extra time. Blind did get a red card, but I'm not sure that even affects simulated games at all. And it looks like this is just going to go to penalties unless someone drags a late goal. They don't, and we go through 4-3 on penalties. I will fucking take that. Right, the next game is an away game in the league against Lille. Now, I would usually play a game like this, but I'm going to simulate this one, and it might bite me in the ass. Lille might win this game, and they've gone up 1-0 in the first six minutes. That's fan fucking fantastic. Um, Lacazette brings one back. Thank you. Lacazette scores in the league, finally. Well, I don't know. He's done it before, but fi it feels like he hasn't scored in the league forever. But Di Maria puts us up 2-1, and it looks like we're going to try and take control of this game. Hopefully, we don't let them back into the game. Away games, you just never fucking know. You never know with away games. They're so random. But it looks like we're going to pick up a 2-1 win, and we do away at Lille. Another game that we're going to simulate is a home game against Red Bull Salzburg in the Champions League. It is the full-strength lineup going out there and trying to get the business done. We should rinse them, you would assume. But they do have some talented players, Red Bull Salzburg. Uh, Lazaro is the one that sticks up, but they, are, they have Soriano as well, who's decent. Barisha's okay as well. Um, so their front, like, kind of three, I guess it is. I don't even know. Is decent, but we're 3-0 up, and we, yeah, like I said, we're pretty much going to rinse them. Like, I'd, I'd expect that. Lazaro brings one back, though. 3-1, so they put up a bit of a fight, but Di Maria ends them with a 4-1 win. And that Di Maria goal was just... Just rubbing salt in the wounds a little bit there. <laughs> but it is 4-1. Dimaria picks up two. Neymar picks up one. And Kozawa getting involved as well. So 4-1 win. And our fourth Champions League game ends up in a fourth win. Okay, the simulating is not over. We have a home game against Stad Rene. And it is at home as well. So it should be a win. And they don't have anyone too threatening. And Tep is their, by far their best player, I think. Uh, but Di Maria slots a penalty away in the 20th minute. I'm surprised he's our penalty taker, to be honest with you guys. I would expect maybe someone else to be taking the penalties. But only 1-0 going into the first half. Going into the second half, I should say. And it's only a penalty that separates the two teams at the moment. So, Stad Rene definitely putting up a bit of a fight here. Maybe they'll drag one back. They do! Through Grossicki, but Neymar replies six minutes later. with I thought we were going to draw that game for a second, boys. But Neymar replies six minutes later. Puts us up 2-1, and it's three points. Oh my god, I thought we had drawn that game. Right, we do have a monthly scouting update coming in. So here are some of the players that we have. 72 potential, 84 is not bad. 77, 90, 79 to 94. Welcome aboard, son. Uh, 90 potential, yes, you can come as well. And that's pretty much it. These guys are kind of average. 84, like, if he actually hits that, that's not bad. But, I don't know. I want the best of the best, mate. I don't want these duds. 70 potential. Just fucking give up already. Okay, the next game we have is a home game against Nantes. Now, we're actually going to simulate this game, but Nantes are sitting in second position, funnily enough, which is fucking impressive, in my opinion. I didn't even know they were a good team. I thought they were shit. I don't know anybody. I, I do, None of those players are recognizable, unless that's the catcher Nikolic that played for Fulham. Other than that, and he's on the bench, so other than that, I have no idea who any of these guys are, but... Nevertheless, going into the game, Di Maria and Aria have put us up 2-0. Jesse Rodriguez adds to it. We're going to absolutely demolish them. 3-0 so far with the last 20 minutes to go. Can we make it 4? Catch Nikolic comes on and they missed a penalty. But they do score a goal through Thompson. And then a minute later, Verratti scores. And it's another 4-1 win. I think we really like these 4-1 score lines. Okay, finally, there's a game that I do want to play. It is away at Roma in the Champions League. They sit on 7 points at the moment. If they beat us, they have a chance of pinching first from us. But if we win here, we've guaranteed first and guaranteed, obviously, qualification. Well, we've already guaranteed qualification. But we've guaranteed qualification in the first spot. So if we can beat Roma here or even pick up a draw, we will confirm that we are going through at the top of the table, which would be fantastic. So without further ado, let's take a look at the lineup that will be heading to Rome and hopefully try to pinch three points. All right, not too many surprises at all. Lacazette up front with Neymar, Di Maria on each wing. Ben Arthur, Matuidi, and Verratti as a midfield three with Kozawa, Silva, Varane, and Aria as a back four. And Alphonse is in between the sticks. So hopefully it's a strong enough lineup to get three points at Rome. Roma... Fighting for that qualification spot. If they lose here, them and Porto could be tied on points, depending on if Porto can put away Red Bull Salzburg or not. And they could have a real fight on their hands going into the last day of the Champions League group stages. So without further ado, let's get into this game. A lot to fight for for both teams. 
But PSG is going to come out on top, surely. Neymar. Outside the box! Neymar with a decent shot, and Chiesny does enough. It's going to be Di Maria who whips this one in. It's a big one. Ben Arfa's at the far post, and he's hit the bar. Oh my god, Di Maria now with a second opportunity. Whips that in. That's a decent cross from Di Maria. And Roma just hanging on at the moment. Great play to put Di Maria in some space. Oh, Di Maria, fantastic stuff. Just taking it off of Costas Manolas. And it's Angel Di Maria now with a bit of room on his left. And he puts it wide. Come on, Angel. you got to be at least putting that one on target, mate. You are in a fantastic position. Di Maria over the top for Neymar. Into Di Maria, into Verratti, into Neymar. Good bit of play between the boys. And it's Neymar who's through on goal. And he's going to go cross goal. I can't believe that worked out, that passing play. And it's Neymar who picks up the goal. And he's going to go celebrate on the billboard as well. He's going to take a pose. I, I mean, the passing play was just fantastic. Like, I just didn't expect it to work out. But the boys knew what they were doing. Cross goal finish. Watch Jack Chesney. Don't even fucking try. We got Marco Rui trying to stop it at the last second. But it's not happening. When Neymar's on the ball... It's not fucking happening. It's going in the back of the net. And the manager's going, look at us. We're going crazy. We're on the pitch. We're celebrating. It's 1-0. Everything's coming up PSG. Take Neymar with a bit of room now. On his bike. He's got Rudiger ahead of him. He's going to cut in on his right nice and early. He's got someone running down the middle. It's Hatem Ben Arfa, who has had pr a pretty quiet episode so far. But he plays through Marco Verratti. And that's surely 2-1. And Chesney with a hell of a save. Wojciech Chesney. No way, what a save from close range, Verratti doesn't tuck it up enough in the corner, but that's still a fantastic save from Chesney. It's going to be Di Maria to whip this one in. Who's he got? Varane is in there, Varane towering over everyone, but Chesney with another save. Di Maria this time, with a driven one. And that's Varane again, and Chesney again with a save. Oh, what? What the fuck is going on? I'm just like looking at the window, I think nothing's going on. Are you fucking for real, ref? What is wrong with you? I didn't even expect this to be a penalty, but <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but Rome have a chance to equalize, and that's Alphonse with the save! Come on, boys! Alphonse, I fucking love you, man. Oh, Neymar, how does he still have the ball? It falls to Benafa, back over to Neymar. Neymar's gonna whip this one in, and Lacazette is in there, and I thought maybe that'd be a fantastic bit of play there. Got a couple of different options. Blaze, he's going to try and look for Neymar. Neymar with a decent run. Florenzi is trying to catch him. A fake Rabona by Neymar. Who's he got in support? He's got Lacazette who lays it off to Hatem. But ah, for where are you going with that shot, Hatem? I'm here in Rome and it is 1-0 to PSG as we continue our perfect run in the group stages. It's a 1-0 win. A very grinded out win. We also saved a penalty to pick up all three points. And Roma right now finding themselves in a tricky position. If Porto picked up three points, they're both on on seven in the group and it comes down to the last game where they play each other I believe those are the stats for you guys we we're all over Roma 11 shots six on target 50% possession to Roma's four shots 50% possession and yeah like I said we we're all over them 1-0 win that penalty not sure what the hell it was for Thiago Silva was a little bit late and like Salah tripped over him or something like that I don't know what the hell was going on but Alphonse saved it so he's got to get a lot of credit Neymar scored the goal with a fantastic bit of passing play between the team and it's a 1-0 win three points a clean sheet and now we are guaranteed to top the table. All we got to do is pick up another win to have a perfect six win record in the group stages. All right, that is how the league table looks like at the end of today's episode, guys. And out of nowhere, we have just taken off. I mean, Leon and Monaco seem to have been dropping a lot of points. Monaco picking up two losses this episode. Leon still undefeated. That's pretty fucking impressive in my opinion. And Leon do have a game in hand on us and two games in hand over Monaco. So if they win their next game, they'll be on 27 points. So they're not going to be too far behind us. That's if they win it. But their next game is against us. So they'll still have a game in hand, but we're probably going to beat them. Now watch them beat us in the next episode. That would be the fucking worst. We're looking at a really good position right now. I mean, Monaco dropping points, Leon dropping points. We've got Nantes in the top three at the moment. San Etienne there. We've got Marseille and Nice really underperforming. So we're looking like we're going to run away with the league right now. We scored 30 goals in 13 games and only conceded eight. So we're by far the best attacking team and by far the best. Of, well, not by far. Leon have conceded only two more goals than us. So right now we're looking good. Looking good in the league. Looking good in the Champions League. Starting to play some decent football. And uh, I think Paris is on the way up, boys. I think PSG is going on the way up. And we're going to try and win as many titles as we can. So hopefully the league is one that we can wrap up. Or at least make it look like we've wrapped up early in the season. I mean, just look at our goal difference compared to everybody else. We have 22, and then the next best is 8. 
that sums up the league, pretty much. But that's it for today's episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video. And hopefully, you guys will be seeing career mode content a lot more regularly. I got past, like, the week of death with work, pretty much. I'm a bit sick now, which is why I haven't recorded that much. But once I get over this sickness, boys, content is going to be daily again. I can't wait to get it out for you guys, Middlesbrough and PSG. So, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. But I'm going to get up out of here, guys. I hope you had a good day. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Keep it real.